Now that we've recorded our clips, let's take a quick look at how we can go ahead and edit them. Now I've reopened Camtasia Studio to show you how you can open the project that we saved in the previous video. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to File, I'm going to select Open Project, and I'm going to select Camtasia Tutorial and click Open. Now this is the file that we had created in the previous video with our mistakes. First thing we want to do is go ahead and start cutting out a few of those us mistakes that we've made. But I usually like to start out with go ahead and setting up the audio. So first thing I like to do is select all the video clips. That way you can get all the video clips having the same audio. You know, if you make one quiet, you'll want your second clip to also have the same audio level as the previous clip. So everything seems uniform. So just select all the clips. You can also marquee select them by just left clicking and dragging, or you can hold down your control and left button and click all the clips. Now, real fast before we mess with the audio, I just want to point one thing out. You're noticing that there's two tracks here and we've for each of our videos. So this was our first recording. This was our second recording that we did in the previous video. Well, the thing here is what you're seeing is you're seeing system audio on track one and you're seeing your screen audio along with your microphone recording on track two. That's typically the way it will save out. It will always capture your system audio unless you disable it and it will capture your screen recording along with your microphone that you recorded with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all the audio clips. And we're going to come over here and just click audio to open the audio tab. Now maybe you'll notice that there are these sliders that have appeared above our videos and you can lower the volume and raise the volume just by left clicking on one of these sliders and just dragging up and down. All right. Or if you don't like your setting, you can also just press delete on your keyboard with the time line with the audio area selected that you want to delete your changes to, you just press delete and it will revert it. So I'm going to go ahead and click play and listen to how the audio sounds. This is done. Now we are recording. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my... And that sounds pretty good. So what I want to do first is I can hear there's a little bit of noise. So all you have to do to enable noise removal is with the audio file selected, you know, I could select all of them again and just click enable noise removal. Now that will automatically start your noise removal and you can drop down the advanced tab in order to adjust the sensitivity of the noise removal. Depending on the noise level of the room that you did your original recording in, this number will change. For instance, in a noisier environment, you may want to raise it up to around 65, 66, somewhere in there. But if your studio isn't that loud, you can go ahead and just leave it on 50 as I have it set to now. But you can also remove clipping and you can remove clicks just by clicking the boxes. Now clicks would be like your mouse clicks and you could adjust the sensitivity to try to adjust those mouse clips. So you have to come in here and play with these settings. There is also a volume leveler and one thing you can do is this is your zoom in and zoom out options and you can zoom really close in to kind of see the audio wave of your recording. That's this weird looking design inside of the track. That's the audio waves and you can come over here and you can select enable volume leveling and you'll notice that it's kind of chopped the top off of everything and really kind of helped on that. I'm going to disable noise removal. Now we are recording. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Firefox browser and that gives a nice chop off the top. So you'll have to decide by listening to your own ear, listening to your recording, because everyone's recording is going to be different. Your microphone setup is going to be completely different. So it's going to be entirely based on how your setup is, on what options you want to adjust in the audio tab. Again, you can also adjust the volume by moving the slider up and down. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at how we can get rid of that a uh, mistake that happens very often when recording your screen. It's very common to accidentally say the word uh or um. These are filler words and it's almost impossible not to say it unless you've been recording videos for a very long time and you've gotten used to not using words like um and uh. But once you're just starting out, it's a very common practice for you to say it. So don't be surprised if when you first start doing screen recordings, you say those words a lot. But the great thing is you can just cut them out later. So let's go ahead and find our uh. So I'm just going to play the video. And this is how I go about it as I play the video and I find out where I've set it and then I cut it out. So it's just simple matter. I'll just click play for brainpoof.com.
Now see right there, that's a huge long pause where I've said nothing. And I can come in kind of get a little bit closer. I could cut this whole section out. So I'll kind of zoom in to where I can see the waves are moving again. Click play. As soon as the website's open, I'm all right. And I can see that right about here is where I started talking. So I've just come up, I clicked play to see where I started talking. Now to cut that out, we're first going to find out where we wanted to wind up and we're going to go ahead and just come over here and you'll see this little line it's called split it's just below the audio and transitions tab it's just this very small mark here just go ahead and click that button with both these selected and that will cut the video in two then we can go back to just where we stopped talking and it's very easy to tell where we stopped talking because again we can just look at the audio wave select both the clips that we want to split and click the split button again then with that taken care of, we can just go ahead and select both those and press delete on the keyboard. And what I do is I just zoom out, I grab all the video clips, and I just butt them back up. Now I can see that there will be a quick transition here and that huge space of me saying nothing will just be gone. So I like to zoom back on the timeline, click play again, poof.com. As soon as the website's open, I'm just going to... And it's just a really fast transition. So now there's that huge spot where I had to stop, think about, okay, what am I going to say? Or I'm waiting for something to load. I can cut that out for a more seamless transition between the clips. So let's go ahead and try that one more time. Let's find that uh word that we said earlier and maybe try to take a look at if we could get rid of a few more of those pauses where I just wasn't saying anything. I'm going to read this first paragraph off. Welcome to Brain Poof. Uh, oh. And there's that uh again. So let's go ahead and clip that one out as we did with that space where I said nothing. We're going to do the same thing here. We're just going to select the two that we want to split, grab them, and we just click the split button. Then go up past the word uh to where I can see that I started talking again. Select the two clips and go ahead and hit the split button. Then I can just grab those two clips, press delete, and zoom out. Grab all the clips and drag them back together. Now, if I go back before, because you always want to check your changes to see that it's seamless. So I'll just go ahead and click play. Again, I just grabbed this little slider here, slid it before I made the edit. So I can play over the edit to see if it sounds right and everything feels seamless. Welcome to Brain Poof. Are you ready to start learning all about? And that sounds really nice. It's just instant. You know, there's no pause there. And I'll go ahead and move forward because I know that there weren't any mistakes here, but I might remember that, okay, during my co recording, I made another mistake. And you can even see that I made this mistake right here just by looking at the wave format. So I'll get up close to it, press play to hear what I'm trying to cut out. Teach you just that. Um, brain poof. All right, and there's that nasty little um, we got to get rid of that. So let's take a look at how we can get rid of that. One thing we can do, I've showed you how to remove it by doing the split method where you split the video, then split it where you want it to wind up and you drag them all over. Another method of doing it is through cutting it completely out and it will automatically slide all the clips over to the left after you do. So let's take a look at that. To do that, this is my um right here. I can see it in the timeline. What I can do is I can grab this little red selection end button, click on it, and I can drag it over the area that I want to cut out. And then instead of, instead of hitting split, I'm going to go ahead and just hit the cut button. And as you can see, it just cut that area out and it's completely gone now. I can zoom back over it, press play. Teach you just that. Brain Poof is dedicated. To and that's another simple, even faster way of handling the method because you don't have to go through and drag all the timelines over. In the next video, we're going to start taking a look at how we can do transitions to sort of transition one video clip recording from one point in your video over to another using some really neat effects. If you have any questions or comments, please post below the video on brainpoof.com.